family son. A Japanese airsoft weapon company called Tokyo Maru, known for replicating Resident Evil series guns, has released some documentation with their latest RE7 Wesker handgun that may shed some light on one of the great debates that fans have been having ever since they heard those fateful words. I'm Redfield. So does this document, translated by RE newsbreaker CVX Freak, reveal the answer? And is Chris Redfield now a bad guy, or has Umbrella all of a sudden become good in the aftermath of... Resident Evil 7. When we saw that Chris Redfield was working for the Umbrella Corporation, there were two very different possibilities. Either Redfield had turned to the dark side, or that Umbrella had turned good. The Umbrella Weapon document implies it is the latter, and the former Super Evil Corporation has reformed as world-changing good guys with a company rebrand known as Blue Umbrella, possibly even working hand-in-hand -hand with the BSAA and the government. We theorized as soon as we saw the ending months ago that Umbrella had been recreated with the blessing of the US government in order to right all the wrongs it had caused in the past. And as usual, the Crimson Army was right on track. Let's ignore the fact that this is a pretty insane plot, but who better than Umbrella to help fight bioterrorism? They know all the tricks the enemies will try to pull. And what better PR move for Blue Umbrella than to appoint Chris Redfield, BSAA hero and bioweapon destroyer, as head of the Strike Force Umbrella Corps team, which may be an all-star team of mercs from different factions of the game that shall not be named, calling all past characters. Is this where we mentioned Clive O'Brien coming out of retirement again? While this good umbrella thing looks good on paper, and seemed to be successful in Dulvey, Louisiana, you don't actually think it'll end up that way, do you? There has to be some kind of secret faction of Umbrella waiting to take over the world, right? Why else would the company have the same name if not to make fans fear for the worst? Where is Wesker? Or possibly we are overthinking things and they are actually good guys. Sure. If all this new info is true, the Not A Hero title was another Capcom trick to throw us off and refers to the fact that Redfield doesn't consider himself a hero even though he is one, not that he is evil. Hopefully, when the delayed free RE7 Not A Hero DLC is released, we will learn more about the new Umbrella and how it relates to the RE universe. And perhaps this good Umbrella story idea will help us transition nicely into the new storyline in the upcoming... Resident Evil 8. Too soon? Crimson Army, what do you think about the new good Umbrella? Will they eventually go back to their old ways? Will Wesker re-emerge? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe.